Martin Lawrence is an American comedian, actor, screenwriter, film director, and producer. He came to fame during the 1990s, establishing a Hollywood career as a leading actor. He got his start playing Maurice Warfield in What's Happening Now, from 1987 to 1988. He was a leading actor in the Fox television sitcom Martin, The Bad Boys franchise, Boomerang, House Party, Wild Hogs, Blue Streak, Nothing to Lose, Life, Big Mama's House, and A Thin Line Between Love and Hate. Martin Lawrence has an estimated net worth of 110 million U.S. dollars. About Martin Lawrence's early life Martin Fitzgerald Lawrence was born on April 16, 1965 in Frankfurt, West Germany. His father, John Lawrence, was serving in the U.S. military at the time of his birth. His mother, Clora Lawrence, was born in 1930 and died in 2008. Martin Lawrence is the fourth of six siblings. Martin Fitzgerald Lawrence's first and middle names were named after civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. and U.S. President John F. Kennedy, respectively. When he was seven years old, his father left the military and the family moved from West Germany back to the United States, settling in Landover, Maryland in the Washington, D.C. area. Following his parents' divorce when he was eight years old, Martin Lawrence rarely saw his father, who was a police officer. His mother, Clora Lawrence, worked several jobs, including as a sales representative and cashier at various department stores to support her family. During his teen years, Martin Lawrence excelled at boxing. While living in Maryland, he attended Eleanor Roosevelt High School and Friendly High School, and he lived in Apple Grove, becoming a Mid-Atlantic Golden Gloves boxing contender. Martin Lawrence is 5 foot 7 inches tall or 1.71 meters tall. About Martin Lawrence's personal life Martin Lawrence was engaged to actress Lark Voorhees in 1993. In 1995, he married Miss Virginia, USA, Patricia Southall. Martin Lawrence and Patricia Southall have a daughter, Jasmine Page Lawrence, who was born in 1996. In 1997, Martin Lawrence began a relationship with Shamika Gibbs. They married on July 10, 2010 at Martin Lawrence's Beverly Hills home. Actors Eddie Murphy and Denzel Washington were among the 120 wedding guests. Martin Lawrence and Shamika Gibbs have two daughters, Iana Faith, who was born in 2000, and Amara Trinity, who was born in 2002. Martin Lawrence filed for divorce from Shamika Gibbs on April 25, 2012, citing irreconcilable differences and asking for joint legal and physical custody of the children. In July 1995, while on the set filming A Thin Line Between Love and Hate, Lawrence lashed out in a violent rage and was then hospitalized at Cedars-Sinai Medical Center. On May 8, 1996, he became increasingly erratic and was arrested after he brandished a pistol in the middle of an intersection on Ventura Boulevard in Los Angeles, screaming, They're trying to kill me! He was again hospitalized with his public relations agent, citing exhaustion and dehydration as the reasons for this episode. On July 29, 1996, he tried to take a 9mm gun onto a plane and received two years probation and a fine. In January 1997, Lawrence's Martin co-star, Tisha Campbell Martin, filed a lawsuit against him, alleging sexual harassment and abuse both on and off the set. By April 1997, Tisha Campbell had settled the lawsuit and returned to appear in the last two episodes of the series. In March 1997, Martin Lawrence was arrested after punching a man in a Hollywood nightclub. During 1999, Martin Lawrence slipped into a three-day coma after collapsing from heat exhaustion while jogging in 100-degree Fahrenheit heat in preparation for Big Mama's house while wearing heavy clothing and a plastic suit. He recovered in the hospital after entering a near-fatal coma due to a body temperature of 107 degrees. His breathing was assisted by a ventilator. About Martin Lawrence's career in his early days, Martin Lawrence did comedy shows in the Washington, D.C. area and supported himself through odd jobs. Comedian Rich Schneider saw his act and suggested Martin Lawrence make connections in New York. Martin Lawrence ended up moving to New York City and found his way to the comedy club, The Improv. Shortly after appearing at The Improv, Martin Lawrence won a performance spot on Star Search. He did well on the show and made it to the final round, but he didn't win. However, executives at Columbia Pictures Television saw Martin Lawrence's performance and offered him the role of Maurice Warfield in What's Happening Now. This was his first acting job. His breakthrough role was as C in Do the Right Thing. Other roles followed in films such as the House Party series, Talkin' Dirty After Dark, and the Eddie Murphy vehicle Boomerang. 
During this period, entertainment mogul Russell Simmons selected Martin Lawrence to host the groundbreaking series Deaf Comedy Jam on HBO. During his stint with Deaf Comedy Jam, Martin Lawrence appeared in his own hit series, Martin, which aired on Fox. The show ran from 1992 to 1997 and was an enormous success. Martin was the flagship of Fox's Thursday night lineup, which drew millions of viewers away from NBC's must-see TV lineup. On February 19, 1994, he hosted Saturday Night Live. The series Martin's ratings continued to skyrocket so much that Fox became more of a contender against NBC and came closer to being considered among the top television networks. In 1995, Martin Lawrence acted alongside Will Smith in Bad Boys with wide success. After the series Martin ended its run in 1997, Martin Lawrence found work in comedy films. He often starred as the second lead opposite actors including Eddie Murphy, Danny DeVito, and Tim Robbins. Many of his films were blockbusters at the box office, including Nothing to Lose, Life, Blue Streak, and Big Mama's House. He also starred in critical and box office failures, including Black Knight and National Security. Regardless, his salary steadily increased to over $10 million per film role. He continues to work in film with such films as Big Mama's House 2, which opened at number one at North American box offices and grossed almost $29 million its first weekend, and Wild Hogs in 2007, in which he played a bored suburbanite seeking adventure on the open road in a biker comedy alongside Tim Allen, John Travolta, and William H. Macy. In 2006, Martin Lawrence appeared on Inside the Actor Studio, during which he briefly brought back to life some of the characters he had portrayed on the sitcom Martin. He also appeared in Open Season as Boog, one of the main characters of the film. The movie also starred Ashton Kutcher, Deborah Messing, and Gary Sinise. In 2008, Martin Lawrence starred in Walt Disney Pictures' College Road Trip, co-starring with Raven Simone. It was his first G-rated film, but not his first appearance in a children's film. He supplied a voice for Open Season in 2006 opposite Ashton Kutcher. In 2011, Martin Lawrence reprised his role as FBI agent Malcolm Turner in Big Mama's Like Father, Like Son, the third film in the Big Mama series. In 2020, Martin Lawrence reprised his role as Detective Marcus Burnett in the third installments of the Bad Boys franchise, Bad Boys for Life, again alongside Will Smith. The film was considered a financial success, grossing $113 million in its first four days of release. About Martin Lawrence's real estate For several years, Martin Lawrence owned a large mansion in the Beverly Park community in Beverly Hills, where he wedded Shamika Gibbs. However, following their divorce, the property was available for lease at $200,000 per month in June 2012. In 2013, the property was up for sale for $26.5 million, and eventually he sold it for $17.2 million to Bruce Makowski. Martin Lawrence then bought a home in Encino, Los Angeles for $6.63 million. He also owns a farm near Purcellville, Virginia. About Martin Lawrence's car collections Martin Lawrence owns or has owned a Ferrari 458 Italia, a 1967 Plymouth Barracuda, and an Aston Martin V12 Zagato. Thanks so much for watching. We would love it if you would go ahead and give us a like, share this video with a friend or two, and subscribe to our channel for more great celebrity content like this. Until next time.